What's up ghouls? It's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Um, apologies that I'm dressed the same in my last however many videos. Um, I mentioned in my previous video that I've been away for a long time as you guys probably know. Um, so I, my French is so annoying. So I'm playing catch up. So today I have a really fun video. I'm really, really excited for it. Um, and it is featuring the products from Bubba's Melties. So um, I will leave their Instagram and their website link in the description box, so definitely, definitely check them out. Um, so to introduce you to the brand, I'm just gonna read a little bit about their products and just their thing off their website. Um, this isn't sponsored in any way, I'm not being paid to do this, I don't have to go into this much detail, but I think it's really nice to A, support small, brands and B, to be informative for you guys. So the products were sent to me, I've no idea what they are yet, I literally haven't opened them, it's still in the box. Um, they were sent to me, but that was all. Um, so it says, hi guys and welcome to Bubba's Melties. We make homemade scented beeswax or vegan soy candle wax melts inspired by chronic illness, mental illness and disability, including my own, all to help raise awareness and have a little fun. I was diagnosed with ME or chronic fatigue syndrome. I also have a degenerative knee disease and will end up in a wheelchair. I used to be very active, love walking miles with my dogs and working out, so you can imagine how devastating this was for me when first diagnosed six years ago. I fully understand how lonely having a chronic illness can be, so I set out to reach others one melty at a time. It took a few years to perfect my melty blends and I only use local UK and Irish ingredients. Nothing has been tested on animals and the beeswax is cruelty free. I myself am dark but cute so my melties reflect this. So it's a really, really cute company with a really lovely message behind it. Um, so even if you know it's not payday yet and you haven't got the spare cash to be buying the melties or whatever, you can support the brand by following their Instagram or checking out their videos. They are so satisfying to watch. So she posts all of the different melties um, in the little burner and you get to watch them melt and then she'll reverse it so you can see them come back up. They are so fun to watch, so definitely recommend checking out their Instagram. So let's get on to the unboxing. So um, when she emailed me asking if I would like to be sent some of the products to try, I was like, absolutely, um, send me <laughs> literally whatever, like the whole collect, all the collections, all the different melodies are so cute. So I literally don't mind what she sent us, like, give me anything. Okay, so I've opened it up and there's a cardboard box inside with the Bubba's Melty logo on there, there's a little sticker. Oh, I don't want to cut through it, but I think I'm going to have to. I'm going to peel it off. It's... Oh. <laughs> I tried to save the sticker and it's a mess. Oh, the logo is so cute. Okay, this thing that's here is a little note. It tells you what is in there. Hope you enjoy them. Please post and promote on all social media platforms. Please mention my YouTube too, as I'm trying to grow it. Oh, yes, she has a YouTube channel. Um, so it's not always to do with the, the wax melts and her business. It's more just her and her life and how she lives with her chronic illness and things like that. Um, it's really, really personal. If you really love like vlogs and getting really in depth into people's lives, it's really, really interesting to watch. So again, I will link her channel below so you can check her out. She's super lovely. So, oh, oh, we have a lot of goodies in here. Okay, so we have a business card um, which looks like this. So it's got like all her social media and everything on it. Um, and then you've got instructions on the back on how to use the melties in case you've never used anything like it before, which I personally haven't, so this is pretty helpful. So, the first, oh my god, this is freaking adorable. Oh my god. So, I literally can't even cope, it's so cute. So it's the wax from the dead, and it is cherry scent, and this one is vegan friendly. It's a tiny little Ouija board. I really hope you guys can see this. Um, pictures will be posted on my Instagram if it's not clear enough for you. So it's a tiny Ouija board with a tiny planchette, which is even cuter. 
Oh my god, I literally can't cope. That, like the detail in that is insane. Oh, I can definitely smell the cherry. It does smell good enough to eat. Ooh. So um, it says, part of the chronic goth series, I'm delving into my darker gothic side with this series. I just love anything dark and gothic and wanted to have a little fun too. We Spoonies enjoy fun dark stuff too. Love the fact I can play with it. Disclaimer folks, this is not a real Ouija board. You will not be able to summon the dead. It's just a cool fun melty to have to keep or melt. Chopping fun then melting. Making videos of your melts and posting on social media is a great way to connect with other like-minded folk too. My melties are for everyone. Let's come together, share our chronic illness, mental health and disability stories. We are all one community and here to help each other. Oh she's literally the sweetest lady ever. Um, yeah I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited. Like I don't want to ever melt it because it's so cute. Okay, next up we have the Blind as a Bat. Oh my god, this is so cute. So it's a melt in the shape of a bat with blue sparkly glitter on top. I'm really sorry it's in this really, really shiny packaging so it's kind of difficult for you guys to see. But as I said, I'll be posting pictures on my Instagram. Um, so this has an enchanted woodland scent. Oh, this stuff smells absolutely amazing. And it's, it's really good too, because when you walk into Lush, there's really like, like typical scents, not bashing Lush, because I freaking love it. But normally with these kinds of things, or like bath bombs or whatever, you have very typical scents, but with these, they're more creative and a bit, bit weird, and I like that. This collection is inspired by my love for bats and all things Halloween, with a deeper layer to help raise awareness for anyone suffering anything to do with eyesight from being born blind to losing your sight from a disease and everything in between it also helps to raise awareness for bats and how beautiful and intelligent they really are which is also relevant to how people who suffer with blindness cope and remain positive and simply living a relatively normal life anyone i've ever met has just amazed me how they don't let it stop them in life but also how strong they are with their other senses they're truly remarkable in how they battle through life and living their lives to the fullest we salute all you guys Oh, she's so cute. This one is so cute. I love that blue colour. Reminds me of the Kat Von D um, Everlasting Glimmer Veil in Reverb. It's like such a, a really pretty blue. Okay, it uh, looks like the... No, it's not the last one. There's more. There's more. Okay, so this is Wax Craft. So it looks like a lot of little kind of black... Oh, I thought they were just like little black cubes, supposed to be like coal or something, but they're runes. They're little runes. That's so cute. So they're the same kind of black that the bat was, and they've got elements of that blue glitter on there, and they all have little symbols. So these have a coconut fragrance. Oh, my mum would love that. I love the smell of coconut. It smells so fresh. I don't like the taste of it, but the smell is really nice. So this is part of the Chronic Goth series. I'm delving into my darker side with this series. Waxcraft is really a nod to the little witch in all of us. Hopefully that one day there will be a magical cure to all illness and disability. But in the meantime, welcome to... I can't talk! But in the meantime, melting some Waxcraft triple moon goddess can only help. Of course you may just love occult, magical, wicked things. This is perfect. The wax bar is huge. Best to slice it and use in little bits to prevent overspill. Careful with knives. Coconut scent always reminds me of escape and holidays and happy times. A mouth-watering, edible smelling fragrance where newly ripened coconut notes are accompanied by fruity and sweet vanilla hints. Let's come together and share our chronic illness, mental health and disability stories. We are all one community and we're here to help each other. So cute. And then the last one I've got in here is the Rest in Peace. So these are sandalwood, patchouli, and vanilla. Oh, sounds amazing. Again, they're vegan friendly. So it's these three little, they're kind of like screaming, ghouly, ghosty, skull looking things. They remind me of the painting, the screen. You know, you know the one. So, rest in peace, part of the Wax From The Dead series under the chronic gothic category. This collection is inspired by the time I finally became at peace with my illness, like I've put to rest the old me and I'm finally at peace and ready to learn and manage my ready to learn to manage my illness and move forward. Anyone else feel this way? Of course you could just love spooky things too, it's fab. The scent it makes is amazing. You also get a little bottle of glitter to add at the end and swirl, because who doesn't love a little extra glitter? See this demo in the video. 
So that's all the things I got. I'm really sorry this video is really long, but I just, you know, want to go in depth. So these are all the melts that I've received and I'm going to be posting a video of me melting one of them so you can see kind of what to do, how it works. And then unfortunately for you guys, I'm going to keep the rest um, as they are for a while because they're so cute, especially that Ouija board. That is like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my existence. I'm obsessed. Um, but when I do eventually melt them all, I will post those on Instagram so, so, so you guys can see them. So I'm going to cut to a clip of me melting the wax melt now. I've got my wax melts in my wax melt burner doodad thingy and I've got two tea lights in the bottom there as you can see because um, using two is going to help them burn faster so I'm going to light the candles and then show you how they melt. So now that they've finished burning, you can see in the top there, there's a little bit of glitter. But when you mix it, you can see just how shimmery and beautiful it really is. Now the packet does say that it comes with a vial of glitter for you to add in, which mine didn't. Um, so it must have just been like a little mistake there. But um, nevertheless, I'm sure you can imagine how glittery and exciting it must be in its full force. So just so you can see, there's the front of the, um, the wax holder. That's from Yankee Candle. Anyway, so the scent of the Rest in Peace set is sandalwood, patchouli and vanilla. And of course, this is the vegan friendly one. And I have to say, these smell absolutely incredible. They just smell good enough to eat. I would not recommend eating them, but they smell absolutely incredible. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to check out Bubba's Melties, check out her YouTube, check out her Instagram, um, and the shop will be linked below as well. I'm unsure of the prices. Um, I don't know what they kind of retail for, um, but that all the information will be on her website. If you do end up getting any of these wax melts, please let me know, I'd love to see. Um, if you do like the melty videos on Instagram, please tag me in them, I would love to watch them, they're so satisfying. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!